Hello everyone, I'm Dracona. So, I'm making this video because I'm very confused. Now, not necessarily on Sunday, but pretty much every week, I catch Sargon of Akkad's This Week in Stupid. You know, it's usually just some interesting news, maybe some funny stories. Uh, it's, it's entertaining, and sometimes it actually has some, some news that I managed to miss. I, I don't watch television news. We don't even have cable here. So, you know, it, it's just it's fun to catch up on those things. Uh, sometimes it's a little more enraging to catch up on those things. But anyway, so I watched this week's This Week in Stupid just this morning. I actually watched it on my television through my Xbox 360, and a message came up that I have never seen in watching all the videos that I've seen on YouTube. It said, Viewer Discretion Advised. And below that, it just said, basically, in response to user reports, this video has been deemed inappropriate or offensive. And when you actually go to the video, because you can still watch it, it's just, it's been taken off recommended lists, which is funny, because originally it was on my recommended list. But supposedly, it's been taken off recommended lists, uh, comments and ratings are disabled automatically. Uh, and when you go to the video, it says, certain features have been disabled for this video. In response to user reports, we have disabled some features, such as comments, sharing, and suggested videos. Because this video contains content that may be inappropriate or offensive to some audiences. Now, when I saw this, I thought, oh shit, maybe in this video Sargon said something, not like I thought he crossed the line, but he said something that YouTube felt was crossing the line. But it says, in response to user reports, so, correct me if I'm wrong, but what that means is that YouTube users are the ones who reported this. They're the ones who reported this as, whatever, harmful or harassment or whatever. One of those claims that you can pick when you hit report. That's, at least that's my understanding. It says, in response to user reports. So, a bunch of people apparently flagged this video because it was, quote-unquote, inappropriate or offensive. And I watched it, and it's not. I mean, it's pretty much the same stuff you see every week. There wasn't anything that was especially uh, controversial. Uh, I mean, he talked about uh, Islam in the UK. Uh, he talked about immigration. He talked about China. <laughs> I mean, nothing that was really any more controversial than any of his other videos, and he comes out with these every single week with similar topics, you know, I mean, similar things that for some people might be controversial, but objectively cannot be interpreted as inappropriate or offensive. So by the end of this video, I just was like, what the hell? What, how, how did, why did this get flagged? Was this just a bunch of people who decided that they wanted to screw with Sargon by doing this? Because, right, at least right now, if you go and you look for this video on his channel, it doesn't show you how many views it's had. You know, it, it, like I said, comments and ratings are disabled. And for no reason. There's no reason for this. And, of course, I'm sure that Sargon already knows about it. He's probably doing something about it. But I wanted to ask a question, because... My first thought was, is there a way that I can report this as being inappropriate flagging? This is not an appropriate response to this video. And there really isn't. I tried looking through the report tab and seeing if there was something that I could do, you know, like other legal claim. And of course, it keeps trying to dissuade you by saying if you misuse their a report system, you could end up losing your channel, you know, because YouTube doesn't actually want you to rock the boat, so they threaten you constantly uh, with the idea of losing your channel. Just like when you have a copyright claim and you're completely in the right, and if you continue to argue that you've been unfairly blocked, it even tells you that you are at risk of getting a strike on your channel. They don't want you to rock the boat. So I tried to see if there was something I could do, and there really wasn't. At least, nothing that I really wanted to risk. Because it's, it's not my place to deal with this. But I just realized, the same way that you can like and dislike a video, 
why can't you report and counter report? Like, clearly, a bunch of people submitted reports saying that this video was bad, that it violated terms of service in some way, even though it doesn't, and it's not any different from any of the other videos that he's put up that have not been blocked before. So, clearly, this is just a bunch of people who are, I don't know, trying to cause trouble for, for no reason whatsoever. Maybe there's some reason behind it, but it's not a good one. So why can't we, the people who know that this is bullshit, send in a counter-report saying this video was unfairly flagged? Why can't we do that? I mean, I understand YouTube doesn't want to increase the complexity of the way the platform works. You know, that's just more shit that they have to deal with. But I'm just saying, if it were running truly effectively, wouldn't that be a thing that would exist? Because then... This is a clear example that a group of people can just go around and mass flag a video and get it put into this limited state, which is stupid because you can still see it, you just can't comment on it or rate it. You can still see it. Like, the people who watch these videos every week, they know that there's going to be one. So they go to the channel and they can watch the video. Shut up, phone. So they're not really preventing anything, but this is a clear example where a bunch of people can just go around mass flagging a video, get it put into this limited state, and there's no recourse for the viewing public. You know, the person who owns the channel can do something, but we, the viewers, who know that this is wrong, can't do anything about it. And, I mean, there's no way that we could even try to, like, talk to YouTube. Good luck with that. I just wanted to highlight this because I thought that this was absolute bullshit. There's... There's no justification for this, and the sad thing is that the state of YouTube right now means that this kind of thing can just happen, and there's nothing that we, the people, can do. You know, even the person who owns the channel, there's very little recourse for them, and it sucks. But really, right now, the only choice that we have is to just go to another platform, and I, I don't want to have to do that. But if it gets to a point where this crap can just keep happening, and I, I know it'll never happen to me because I don't have a large enough channel, but if this crap keeps happening, it's going to force people away. This should not happen. If a bunch of people flag something for being quote-unquote inappropriate or offensive, there should be some kind of justification for it. A, a, an actual person, not a bot, should look at the video and see is there really anything that's inappropriate here. I mean, Sargon has talked about terrorism in the past. I know that's a big no-no for YouTube, but those videos were fine. So, why is this a problem? Anyway, I just wanted to throw out my little mini rant about that. Uh, hopefully, this situation gets fixed. But, <laughs> if this can just happen, then I don't see why it can't happen again. And I don't see why it can't happen to pretty much anyone. At least, anyone who has a large enough audience. In the meantime, I'm Dracona, and try to have a nice day. I just want you to realize how fucked up this is. I just want you to realize how fucked up this is. I just want you to realize how fucked up this is.